by virtue of the powers vested in me by the Constitution and by law, I had to declare martial law in the Mindanao group of islands for a period that exceeding 60 days. Uh, Human Rights Watch is very concerned because we've seen the lawlessness of the war on drugs that President Duterte has prosecuted. Now we're worried also that human rights violations may accompany this martial law de declaration for Mindanao. Uh, you know, the Philippines has an obligation to ensure that human rights and civil liberties are protected under martial law, not only under international human rights standards, but also in the Philippines Constitution. Uh, so we think that the uh, government of the Philippines should uh, make sure that these, uh, this martial law declaration does not in any way impinge on uh, the human rights and civil liberties of the Philippines people. I said I will not allow abuses. The courts are open. But anyone now holding a gun, confronting government with violence, my orders are spare no one. Let us solve the problem of Mindanao once and for all. Uh, I think it's important to recognize also that you know, this is one of the first times uh, really since uh, the Marcos period where we've had a, a broad declaration of martial law in a, uh, for an entire island of the Philippines. And uh, ultimately, I think that there's going to have to be close monitoring and examination of what happens there going forward. And we will be prepared to, of course, call out uh, the government and the military if they violate human rights while uh, under martial law in Mindanao.